Competitive Dynamics Theory Key Thought Leaders, Ken Smith, Walter Ferrier, Herman Defer, 2001 Competitive Dynamics Theory helps explain the interaction and impact of firm actions and competitor reactions in a given industry. 31 action can relate to any observable decision made by a firm for the purpose of defending their current competitive position or attempting to gain a new competitive position. Examples of actions may include making price changes, initiating special marketing activities, introducing new products, or withdrawing from the market. Reactions represent the corresponding response taken by a rival firm. The competitive dynamics model looks at both the firm initiating a competitive move as well as the reacting rival firm. Several characteristics of the initiating firm's action are considered by the competitor before formulating a response. First, the magnitude of the action is assessed. For example, an action that required significant financial investment or resources would be considered high magnitude and warrant more competitive attention. Second, the scope of the action is relevant. An action that has an impact on multiple competitors is more potentially threatening than an action that has an impact on only one competitor firm. Third, the type of action, tactical slash temporary versus more strategic, is considered. Several attributes of responders' reaction are also relative to the competitive dynamics, including the likelihood of a response, if the attack is substantial, the likelihood is higher, as well as the frequency and timing of the response. The longer the time lag between action and response, the greater the advantage to the initiator, also known as a first-mover advantage. In addition to the attributes of the actor, Action and reactors slash response, the characteristics of the industry itself also impact the competitive dynamics model. For instance, a high rate of industry growth can reduce competitive interactions, as the growing demand minimizes the need for individual firms to jockey for position. Likewise, a more concentrated market with a smaller number of competitors leads to more collusion and less competitive activity. An industry with high entry barriers limits the number of new entrants that incumbent firms need to be considered with.